The reality is that we can talk about this, but there are young people dying on a daily basis. By and our thousands. young people are being labeled as deviant right. when they copy. Okay. So how do you deal with that piece? Barack Obama. Obama. Barack Obama. It's about time for Obama. That night I had maybe nine or ten, and by the end of the night, well, the next morning, I didn't remember anything. People want to know, what will you deliver? I want to continue what I believe to be America's primary purpose. Are you frustrated by black leadership? There's no way he would be taken seriously, and nor would black people be voting for him, not at 80 percent. You are far too intelligent to actually believe what you just said. Welcome to The Truth. I'm your host, Jeff Johnson, and as always, I'm here to uncover the truth behind this week's headlines. Tonight, we're going to be talking about everything from political upheaval over in Africa to the ruckus Nas is raising at home over the N-word. Now it's time for the Truth Top 5 Headlines of the Week. Friday's acquittal of three New York cops and the brutal shooting death of Sean Bell. John McCain toured New Orleans' Ninth Ward on Thursday. Reverend Jesse Jackson begged the government to intervene in Haiti's very real hunger crisis. A federal judge slaps Knight on three counts of tax evasion. Just when we thought the N-word controversy was dead and buried, Rapper Nas has revived it for his new album. Which kind um, do I identify most with? Obama. Barack. Senator Clinton. At this point, I identify with both of them, but I'm Obama 08. So this idea that somehow being black has allowed him to just coast along in his career. Well, Barack Obama, Obama, if he were a white man, would he be this successful among review. blacks right now, if he were white? Meet Sensor Ray. Like most women in their 20s, she looks good and feels good, so there's no need for her to worry about her health, right? Well, I'm 21 and I feel pretty good. You know, I don't feel that I'm unhealthy. With black women, we hear obese. And sometimes we say, I ain't obese, girl, I'm just big bone. Black men tend to like fuller-figured women. Um, so a lot of women don't mind carrying around that extra weight, those extra pounds, but those extra pounds can, can be kill. Unhealthy. We hear a lot of people talk about the responsibility artists have. Do they have a responsibility to be activists? Well, put it like this. You, you black in America, this community supports you not only with their money, but their time and attention, mm -hmm. which is more, even more valuable than the money that they can spend on you. And they're in trouble. They're in danger. Why wouldn't I show up for them? It seems as if you are always trying to stir up controversy. African Americans are slaves and they will just do what they're told because they're poor. To be honest with you, I don't care if they cut welfare. I don't care if, um, if they cut drug treatment programs because that doesn't affect my family. What now you're doing us. is you're talking out of both sides of your neck. Because those young people need to understand the very value of who they are so that we don't continue to make people believe if you don't have a college degree or able to speak the King's English or go to the right church. If you believe in justice, then you belong in this movement. I'm Jeff Johnson and that's the truth. <laughs>